Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the capacitor charging simulation in LT Spice. So I will explain the time constant for this circuit, how you can calculate the time constant for this circuit. And I will also show the charging current of this capacitor C1 and the charging voltage of this capacitor C, C1. Okay. So this is going to be a very interesting topic today. Also, I will I will explain how do we write the initial initial time command in LT Spice. Okay. How will you initialize? this capacitor like for time t equals to zero for time t equals to zero what is the voltage across this capacitor so these are all things i will explain today so let us understand so you can see here this is very simple circuit which is having a voltage source v1 a resistor r1 and a capacitor c1 the value for v1 this voltage is 12 volt the value for R1 is 10K. The value for C1 is 100 microfarad. Okay. So as as you know, already know that the time constant for RC circuit is given by T equals to RC. That means if you have R equals to 10K, C equals to, sorry, it should be 100 microfarad. Let me correct it. C equals to 100 microfarad. If you calculate this, your time for your time constant is T equals to one second. Okay. Since you already know that capacitor takes five time constant to charge fully, right? So capacitor takes five con time constant to charge it fully, right? So T equals to 5T here t equals to 5t right so let let us let us understand how do we write the initial initial so let us understand how do we initialize this capacitor uh, this capacitor for t equals to 0 okay so to understand this to understand this we have to write the command in spice directive like dot op so if you click on that dot op you can see that syntax for dot ic and v and voltage across this node vc equals to 0 that means what we are trying to do is I have initialized this node as a VC. This how will you can do this? This you have to add the label here. Okay, add the label here. So this node I have initialized it VC and voltage across the capacitor is given by this VC and for the time constant for the for the time equals to t equals to zero the voltage across this this capacitor is zero hope you hope you you are understanding what i am trying to explain here right right so at at time t equals to zero the voltage across this capacitor c1 equals to zero so that's what i have written here so how will you write this you have to go on spice directive dot op and then you have to write dot ic voltage this v stand for voltage across this node vc voltage across this node vc equals to zero right so that is how you can initialize the your capacitor voltage at time t equals to zero now since you know that the time t equals to five second so what will i do to run the transient analysis i will go at this simulate edit simulation command and i will uh, I will write here stop time 10 second and the maximum step size is 0 0.1 second right so everything is set now what I will do I will run the simulation now and I will show you the waveform right so 
so let me show you the waveform first for the voltage this is the voltage across this capacitor and let me show you the current waveform if you maximize this window you can see here this is the voltage waveform which is vc and this is ic1 that is current waveform right that is current waveform and that is current waveform and you can see your capacitor is fully charged at 5 second that means your current is you can see here your current is 0 milliampere and you can see here your voltage is 12 volt that means after 5 second as we have already calculated here after 5 second of time your capacitor is fully charged right your capacitor is fully charged at t equals to 5 second so you can see here at t equals to 5 second here somewhere your, your current, current flowing through the capacitor is zero and voltage across this capacitor is zero so guys hope you you have understood the capacitor charging and how will you simulate the charging behavior of your capacitor in lt spice how will you write the initial condition for initial condition for lt spice if you have any question feel free to ask me in comment section thanks for watching this video